Number 1. Hit the rides at Tilburg Funfair. Tilburg's annual funfair has been running for so long, since 1570, it's been nominated as a UNESCO protected heritage event. One of the biggest events of its kind in Europe, every July the heart of the city erupts with 250 rides and arcade booths, including roller coasters and a Ferris wheel. The funfair also hosts an LGBTQ party, called Rose Mondog, Pink Monday, where live bands play to a crowd of 250,000. Number 2. Explore the Sporzone Complex. Join locals at what's been billed as the city's living room, Lock Hall, a gathering area for the intellectually curious, with themed rooms including gaming and food, which has featured workshops on edible insects and a 3D cheese printer. There's also a knockout cafe if you just want somewhere to rest and people watch. Lock Hall is part of the Sporzone building a regeneration project of old industrial buildings along with the train station. Number 3. Drunens Duinen National Park. Nicknamed the Sahara of the Netherlands, the Lundsen Drunens Duinen National Park is a stretch of 3,500 hectares, 8,648 acres, of sand between Tilburg and Den Bosch. The park is one of the last places in Europe where it is possible to witness natural sand drifts. Number 4. Cinecita. This exquisite arthouse cinema has screened films for over a century, making it the oldest cinema in the Netherlands. It was originally built to accommodate an exclusive social club called Souvenir de Montagnards, which sold its headquarters in the 1970s. The cinema has been modernized since then, but still features elegant design elements that date back to the early 20th century. Its program leans towards independent cinema, plus thoughtful blockbusters such as Nomadland. Number 5. Koningshoven Brewery. Step inside the grand 19th century Koningshoven Abbey for your afternoon beer. It's one of 12 Trappist breweries in the world, which exist to finance the monasteries and fund charitable causes. The brewery lies around 3 kilometers, 2 miles, away from Tilburg city center and features a tasting room where you can sample beers on tap such as the Malty, Dark Brown La Trappe Dub Belle and Unfiltered Blonde La Trappe Pure. Number 6. Zoo de Olia Mullen. Dyeron Park de Olia Mullen cares for many strange, colorful, and exotic critters from all over the globe. The park began as a reptile sanctuary in an old farmhouse but has since expanded its menagerie to include mammals and birds such as eagles, ring-tailed lemurs, and free-roaming skunks. Number 7. Dupont. The only stipulation for art selected for the Dupont Gallery is that it must have been created by a living artist. Otherwise, anything goes, with work by the likes of Marlene Dumas, Ai Weiwei, and Steve McQueen in the permanent collection. The gallery was founded in 1995, on the death of local entrepreneur Jean Dupont, who had bequeathed funds in his will to build a contemporary arts museum in Tilburg. Number 8. Nature Museum Brabant. Taxidermy creatures great and small grace the halls of this manor house turned natural history museum, which opened in 1935. The biggest exhibits are a sperm whale skeleton and a realistic model of a woolly mammoth, which presides over an ice age zone. Tailored to children, interactive exhibitions include animal skin tents, hunting tactics, and the frog and friends games area. Number 9. Textile Museum. Textiles have played a major part in the development of Tilburg, a heritage that's told through fashion, furniture, and design exhibitions at the Textile Museum. Old meets new in the building design, as the main industrial building that once housed several textile factories has been fitted with a dazzling glass cube entrance hall. You can also walk around the museum's prestigious workshop. Number 10. 013 Pop Podium. Agnes Abel, Judas Priest and Limp Bizkit are among the big names who have performed at Tilburg's largest music venue, 013 Pop Podium. With space for 3,000 fans, it features two separate concert halls in a sleek, modern building that's within walking distance from Tilburg's main train station. As well as high-profile bands and musicians, 013 regularly often collaborates with festivals, 
including Roadburn, Europe's leading underground festival for heavy music. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.